right, gents, we're doing question six, okay? Now, before I start question six, I just wanted to make you aware of one or two rules you might not be as good on recently, all right? So if I have one plus x to the power of, for argument's sake, four, does everybody see that? It works on the top and bottom number the same way. So the in-between line is one to the power of four, x to the power of four. But lucky for us, one to any power is gonna be one. So it's one over x to the power of four. Is that cool, you guys? Second rule and easiest to be familiar with in this system is the following. Any number, let's say for argument's sake, x8 divided by x3. What would x8 divided by x3 be? x5. If you know these two rules, this question will actually become quite easy. Okay? So here's how it comes quite easy. We uh, we obviously have to expand the bracket. Uh, we have to do x plus 1 over x to the power 6. That means we're expecting 7 terms. Is that okay? 7 terms. So... I have the first uh, first two terms written down. Now I'm on to the next one. X4 all over 1 plus X squared. Now they all have to add to 6. Let's keep going. 6C3. Uh, X3. 1 over X3. To the power of 3. Okay. Next one here is going to be 6C4. <coughs> And it's going to be x to the power of 2, 1 over x to the power of 4. Okay, finally, 65, uh, x, and then 1 over x to the power of 5. Okay, and finally, 66, 1 over x to the power of 6, all right? Now, when we look at these... I have to figure out, uh, first and foremost, all right, let's start off. 6C0, we all know is 1. So the first part is x to the power of 6. Happy days. What? Yeah, I yeah. am. Pretty sure I yeah. am. Yeah, currently doing it. Okay. 6C1, that's just 6. Now, here's where, you're, it, here's where it starts to kick in. It's x5, and then it's 1 over x. What's x5 by 1 over x? No, the x is on the bottom, so you're taking them away. x4. Okay. Now, what I'm noticing here is 6 jump down to x6 jump down to x4. If the next one jumps down to x2, I'm taking pattern. Okay. So, let's find out. Uh, can anybody tell me what 6c2 is? All right. See if I beat you to a 15, all right? That's 15. Now, this time, lads, it's x4. Now, do you see that 1 over x squared? See the one? That's actually 1 squared over x squared, which is just x squared on the bottom. Now, what's x4 minus x4 over x2? x2. Now, I'm taking, I, I, I'm pretty lazy here, so I'm taking charcoal. Yeah, just do the six part. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. Uh, six C three, lads. Twenty, all right. Now we have twenty. Now if this pattern follows the same, that's going to be x zero, right? Which it is. And then what is x zero? Anything to the power of zero? One. Now, lads, next one. If that was x0, I think the next one's going to be x t x minus 2. So it's 15x minus 2. I think that's, that was that. So if you do want me to do it out, that would have been x squared over x4. And 2 take away 4 would have been minus 2. Okay? And then 6c5 would have been uh, 6x minus 4. And then finally, at the very end, would have just been x minus 6. Okay? Now, if the book has it written slightly differently, it's that, psh, some of you don't know the negative power rule. x minus 2 actually means 1 over x squared. So that could be written as 15 over x squared. 
Likewise, this could be written as 6 over x4. And this last one could be written as 1 over x6. So both of them should be acceptable. Is that right? So both those endings are the same. Now, uh, it wants to show that one term is independent of x. Well, there it is right there. That plus 20 has no x value in it. So that was the term that had no x in it. Is that okay? All right, guys.